We as programmers love the binary option. We would love if someone could say you can, you know, yes, you can learn to code in three months and no exceptions. It's why we are coders. It's because we love the fact that this profession provides us with either a answer that doesn't work or an answer that compiles. But when you're starting out, when you're trying to figure out, you know, is this right for you? How long is it going to take? Uh, what is the first language that I need to learn? Uh, what's the first framework that I need to learn? Do I need a Mac or a Windows? You know, you basically have to make these, you know, binary decisions, but you know, you have to also be careful that you don't get into that proverbial infinite loop as a programmer where you are just going between two options and you never actually pick. So if you ask that question to me, or if someone random off the street came up and asked me, can you learn to code in three to six months? I would generally say no. And I know that's not an answer that most people would want to hear. And it's also not completely true. But that's what I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about the gray area of this question and break it down into basically two different dimensions. The first one is going to be, well, what is your life situation looking like? How much time do you have to devote to this and how focused can you be? And then number two is going to be, what do you define a programmer or a software engineer or a coder as? You know, what is your definition of that? Do you have the standard of being able to get a job at Google as a junior dev or is your goal just to, you know, start freelancing? Or do you want a job at a small startup like anything that you can get? Or furthermore, do you want to just build something, you know, take an idea out of your head and put it on the web? But before we get into that, I'm Zach. And if you don't know me, I actually made a video of my coding journey that you can watch. Um, but just in short, I have been programming for about four years now, and most of it has been self-taught. So the first, uh, I think six months of me learning to code was my senior year of college. And in my senior year of college, um, I was finishing up my classes, obviously, uh, in corporate finance. And I was also finishing up my final season as a collegiate golfer. And I was only able to get in a few hours a day, you know, just waking up super early in the mornings before the day started and just getting getting going with the CS50 course, which was or Harvard CS50 course. And I was just chipping away at that. My goal was to finish it by the end of my senior year. And so I did finish it. Um, but when I finished it, I would not have called myself a programmer. And I definitely was not ready to go out and start applying for jobs. And I wanted to bring that up because that is the true reality for a lot of people. You know, most people don't have the opportunity to just drop everything and go to a coding boot camp and immerse themselves in this, um, you know, discipline. And while it is possible, I did it. Um, it's it's hard. It's not easy, and, and you're not going to learn quite as quickly. It wasn't until I finally was able to devote more time to it, which was when I moved back home um, after college. And I think that in those eight months, not only was I working as a software engineer at a small startup, um, but I was also learning every single day and totally immersing myself. So after those eight months, I would say, you know, yeah, I, I was ready to basically go out and get a job. And I, I really felt like I had a decent understanding of what web pro programming is. And that is where we come to that second point. How do you define a software engineer or a coder? My definition um, was maybe a little bit broader than, than some, and I think it's different for everyone. But for me, I kind of saw a software engineer as someone who understood the whole gamut of web programming. You know, I saw it as okay, you not only understand kind of what's inside of a computer, what are, like how did the internals of a computer work, but you're also able to take, you know, server side code, combine it with front end code, make them talk to each other, and then furthermore, deploy that to a live web server and be able to understand a little bit of the networking concepts that go along with that. 
And so I was kind of seeing this as a holistic process where I had to understand all of these different disciplines. While I do understand a lot of these disciplines now, it definitely took me longer than just a year or even two years. I would say that my, my knowledge of web programming really skyrocketed probably in the last year, about three years in and you know four years in is when I finally could say like, hey, I really get this. And I feel very confident that, you know, I can take a idea and put it on the web as a fully functioning uh, web app that not only works, but provides a good user experience. And furthermore, and this is the tricky part, you know, the back end code, the stuff that people don't see actually looks pretty professional too, and you're able to maintain it. And I ran into that problem, you know, earlier on in my uh, journey because I had created a couple web apps, but what I kept finding was that I would come back three months later to try to, you know, modify something or fix something, make it better. And I'd have no idea how to do it because my code was so messy and it wasn't maintainable because I had not designed it correctly. You know, going back to this question of how long does it take to learn how to program? Can you learn it in three to six months? And I would say that under the condition that you have a 100% devotion of your time to this discipline, and you have some awesome instructors, we'll say it like a really good boot camp, um, that are just guiding you along the whole way, I would say if you have those two conditions, then maybe you could learn how to code in six months. But, you know, even then you're going to have, you know, mountains and mountains of improvement. And I would guarantee you for 99% of people, even after those six months, everything is going to still feel very fuzzy to you. It's not going to feel straightforward. You're going to feel like there's still missing pieces. Now, the one exception is if you, you know, hyper specialize. I've seen many people who are absolutely brilliant with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript or jQuery, and all that they need are those three uh, languages to create an absolute masterpiece on the web and a something that, you know, a web developer like me who's not awesome at graphic design might pay for to actually just drop into my own web apps. So if you're hyper specializing like that, then three to six months could be enough time, especially if you come in with some sort of prior experience. And that's kind of the last factor here. You know, if you're coming in with like an engineering background, rather than me who came in with a finance background, then this stuff is gonna be a little bit easier to pick up. It might be a little bit quicker and that three to six month timeline might actually be realistic if you had, you know, let's say that you were a mechanical engineer in school and even doing mechanical engineering, you know, I think you probably touch at least a little bit of coding, um, maybe some Java, some uh, MATLAB, stuff like that. And so you'd already been exposed to what programming is. And so picking this up um, the second time around is going to be a lot smoother. Well, I could go on and on about this topic and answering this not so simple question of how long it takes to learn how to code. Um, I'm going to cut it off here. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you liked it and had, you know, a comment about your own journey or any questions, leave them in the comments below.